Excuse me, sir. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> When content creators make science videos, we face an inherent trade-off between making something super entertaining versus something more educational. The more entertaining something is, typically the less informative it is. And at the same time, giving a straight, non-interactive lecture is about the least entertaining thing you can do. So every time you watch a science video from now on, you might consider where it falls on the trade-off between facts and funny. But trade-offs don't just apply to internet videos. They are an essential part of life, like all of life on planet Earth. And this is what behavioral ecologist Michael Riker and members of this lab think about all the time. The main question my lab is trying to answer is, how do trade-offs affect competition for mates and animals? One of the species we study is the great tree frog, Hylochrysocelus. When male tree frogs call to attract mates, they experience a trade-off between how often they can call and how long their calls are. As a frog, you want to be calling all the time, but if there's a gap, Another competing frog could swing in and steal the show. But just like me, they need to take a breath. So because of limited energy and breath, there's a trade-off between how long frogs can call and how many calls they can produce per minute. One of the coolest things about working in this lab is that we get to go out and do fun things, such as trying to go out and record frogs at night. But it's also that we're studying trade-offs like this, that are universal to every living thing. There's only so much time in a day, and we only have so much energy to power our bodies. So everything we do, moment to moment, trades off against something else. That's something I hadn't really thought about before doing this work. It's kind of cool to think how we're all connected that way. When I talk about what we do in the lab with my friends and family, they're often like, you mean frogs are choosing how fast they talk? Well, not really. With frogs, they're behaving a certain way because of their genetics and their environment. So the trade-off isn't really something they're aware of. In most organisms, which side of the trade-off they experience is not a choice, but is shaped by natural selection. For example, across species, the bigger a flower is, the fewer flowers there are per plant. Energy and resources are limited, so plants can't have big flowers and tons of them. Also across many animals, from horses to humans, the faster you run, the quicker you run out of steam. Many species also experience a speed accuracy trade-off when making decisions. For example, bumblebees that pick a flower quickly make more mistakes, while bumblebees that take their time tend to pick a flower that contains nectar. Well, animals have some control over how they behave, the nature of the trade-off can't change without evolution. That means to move beyond the trade-off line, you need natural selection acting on new mutations or combinations of genes across generations. To summarize what we've learned, we talked about how this video itself is a type of trade-off between entertainment and education, which is different from biological trade-offs that all living things experience. Can you come up with some trade-offs that organisms might face? Such as, does a shark mouth size trade off with bite speed? Do birds that sing more attract more predators? And will you miss out on anything by not watching the end credits of this video?